is one of my favorite times to catch up on all shows on and off Broadway. And today I have got a good one for you. I am hanging with the star of The Butcher Boy, Nicholas Barish. He's taking me around town to some of his favorite spots. So Nicholas, it is not often you sit next to a 20 something year old who has been acting for more than half their life. <laughs> no, I'm always like, uh, yeah. You know, I've been around. And you made your Broadway debut yes, at 10 at years 10, old? Yes, mm -hmm, in West Side Story. I don't know if I knew, you know, the totally what I was doing at the time, but I loved it and I always loved singing and performing. And mm -hmm. now you are back in New York Yay! in The Butcher Boy. Yes. It's based on the book by Patrick McCabe and it's about a boy growing up in 1960s Ireland and he, you know, has a pretty tumultuous home life, but but to him, you know, he doesn't. He's I always liken it to in middle school when you look back and you're like it was so awful, but at the time you were just trying to navigate. You're just living your life. <laughs> but he's, you know, he's obsessed with comic books and he has this best friend Joe and they go into the woods and they catch fish. And, you know, things kind of take a turn when his neighbor calls his family pigs. So there's like a bit of a class struggle and he develops an obsession that becomes a little more violent as the play goes on. He's, you know, trying to just be good and defend his family, but he starts seeing um, pigs around him. Um, in, our, in our production, they're a singing chorus of pigs <laughs> and they represent kind of this mental illness that's that's brewing in him. In any other world, that might sound strange, yes. but in context of this story, if you know it, it just works. I'm so glad that, yeah. you, that you feel that way. Yeah, you're kind of living in Francie's world. So when you see a pig who's singing, that's what Francie's seeing. And so the audience kind of gets into his, his head in that way. And yeah. I'm sitting next to one, like, look at the smile. You're one of the <laughs> kind, you're a very kind human being. I'm so curious about like what you do to maintain your peace. My mom, I think, maybe first introduced me to matcha and I'm obsessed. So we're gonna hit up some matcha. I am always so curious where actors go like yeah. before shows on their days off and you have brought me actually to one of my favorite places too. Yes. Cha Cha Matcha. Cha Cha Matcha. Tell me why you love it. Getting Nicholas. our matcha on. It's a great pick me up but it's not coffee so I feel like you spike with coffee and tea before a show is good. A matcha because it's like a steady energy but it doesn't send me through the roof. Um, cheers to that. Cheers. So next up, we are here at Madison, Madison Square, Square Park. Park. Excellent choice. Yes, it's it's really one of those parks that I'm always running around. Like I would always be running to an audition, like over there, over here. So it's nice to actually like sit and enjoy the beauty of it. I mean, I love the city, but it also can be kind of madness. So to get outside, any park, any green I can find, <laughs> I, I find it. So happy that you're back here in New York and we tell you. everybody to catch you in The Butcher Boy. The Butcher Boy at Irish Rep. We run through September 11th. Amazing. So come on down. This yeah. was a pleasure. Such a pleasure. Thank Joel. you.